Welcome to Drill Core. In this video, we're going to be going through my ultimate beginner guide. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to help you out. And starting off, one of the most important things in this game is priority. If you click on a block once, it's going to be mined just when your workers get round to it. But if you then click again, it's going to put an extra box around that block. And that means that block is priority, like it's being prioritized, which is really, really important. As if there's an enemy in a block and you mine it, that enemy does not spawn and up to three of your miners are going to rush to that block like literally the moment you make it a priority so it's a very very good feature one that's really going to help you out and next up is you need to balance your workers i've found towards the beginning of the game ish that four workers three carriers and three guards did absolutely fine although later on you might need to change that around a little bit but it's very important to find a balance because if like for an example if all of your guards die and there are still enemies around then your carriers and your miners can be killed pretty much instantly and if all of your miners were to die then you can't actually progress with that run so find the right balance for your workers as i said four miners three carriers three guards worked really well for me and next up is that your first few runs might not be that good like they're probably not going to be good at all but that is only going to be because you're not going to have any of the permanent upgrades and stuff that are available in the game and on top of that you do have to expect to fail quite a few runs in order to keep improving and making progress in this game this game is designed for you to fail over and over again and next up is that difficulty 2 is much much harder than difficulty 1 there are many more enemies that are going to attack you during the day when you're mining and the same at night. There's going to be loads and loads more enemies that spawn at night time. So with this, you're going to have to expect to lose a lot more workers and also health off your core. And that's because this is where your strategy plays a massive part in progress. But I will say, even if it's really difficult, always push for the higher difficulties that like every time you unlock a new one, because even if you fail the mission, you will extract minerals which are going to be used for permanent upgrades and you'll find much better minerals in a higher quantity the higher the difficulty so progress might be a little bit slower and you're going to fail more runs but you will work your way to better permanent upgrades faster and you're also going to have a better chance of making progress as you figure out a working strategy and next up is that your defense is just as important if not even more important than your workers and that is because during the daytime you're going to be able to mine but if your defenses are not strong enough when it turns to nighttime time your core is going to take a lot of damage and once your core is destroyed that's game over not only that but during a difficulty two run i had what's essentially a boss come in and it's called a Ragnar. and while he fled the first time i encountered him he came back a few nights later and he was a lot more brave he actually made it all the way down to my core but i did defeat him in that run thanks to the massive amount of turrets and stuff i had set up and that also helped me complete the qualification but without a strong defense he easily would have wiped me out and as i said i had a lot of turrets something really important is to make sure you have a high quantity especially for when it comes to getting a Ragnar, because what he does is he webs your turrets which stops them working temporarily so make sure you are focusing on your defense as well as everything else and next up is buildings these are very very important in drill core you are able to place them down on your platform and for an example, you have something like a barracks. This is going to not only let you actually recruit new workers, but also increase the worker limit that you have. So you start the game with seven, you place down one barracks, it goes up to a limit of 10 workers. You place down another barracks, it goes to 13. But when it comes to your barracks, do not overdo it because you have other buildings available as well. For an example, you have a research lab. The first time you place it down, you'll be able to do level one upgrades like your guards dealing 25% more damage or your workers, like your miners, miners mining 25% faster and then when you place down a second research lab is going to let you upgrade them even further so your guards will do 50% damage or miners will mine 50% quicker and it's not just a research lab in your barracks there are a lot more buildings in this game that are incredibly important to your survival your attack your defense absolutely everything make sure you're paying attention to the buildings and again like your workers you really do need to find a balance and don't worry about filling up your first layer of the platform as what you can do is you can expand your drill platform to hold even more buildings. And I will highly, highly recommend that you pay attention to your daytime and nighttime buildings as they are going to come in very handy for helping you make progress in the game. 
And next up, at the main menu, if we go to upgrades, you have a bunch of different permanent upgrades you can do. For an example here, the guards are going to work the night shift. They will shoot at monsters threatening the core at night. Then coming along to this one, this is the research expansion, unlocks a new branch of upgrades in the lab, upgrades to increase visibility in the mine, you can heal your workers, you can even repair the core. But on top of these upgrades, if we go to play and we go to platform preset, what we can do is platform upgrades, and this is a whole different upgrade tree. For an example here, you can unlock a technology slot or like for your platform. And what that does is you can pick a technology, so like daytime and nighttime buildings, that you start the game with. So you don't need to randomly get them from down in the mine. And those come in really handy. However, there's also qualifications, which I mentioned when talking about Arachnor. And on certain difficulties, you'll only be able to do some of these. However, if we go over to difficulty three, and we go to qualifications, you'll see that we've unlocked the next lot. And then for an example, if we switch over to the Frost Planet, we can now do this one as well. And qualifications is basically you complete a task, you unlock this building. So up here, the very first one, Turret Expander is the easiest one to unlock in the game. What you have to do is have at least 10 workers at the end of the contract. So when you've gone down 150 meters, you've completed that run. Providing you have at least 10 workers, you're going to complete this qualification. And then you unlock this building, which is a nighttime ability. It temporarily expands the range of all your turrets by 20%. And on top of that, each building of this type further increases the range by 20% as well. So if you have five of these on your platform, you've got double range with all of your turrets. So make sure you're paying attention to upgrades, platform upgrades, and also your qualifications. And next up is when you complete a difficulty two run, so difficulty two is core engineer. When you complete that, you are going to unlock not only difficulty three, but you also unlock the frost planet. The so difficulty three is going to be a lot harder than difficulty two, but by going over to the frost planet, you're going to get different rewards. For an example here with the minerals, we're going to get 35 Pac-Mans. We're going to get 27 of the blue things, five of the purples. We switch it over to frost, 27 yellow, 13 blue, 14 purple. But on top of the frost to change in your rewards, if we have a look at the difficulty, 1 and 2 have a target depth of 3 by 50. When you go over to difficulty 3, that target depth goes to 4 by 50. So you need to mine down four times. Like you basically need to activate your drill four times before that contract is complete and before you can get out of there. So as you get difficulty 3 and above, the runs are going to become a lot more difficult. And then last but definitely not least, kind of just like a recap sort of thing, runs in this game are going to be very tough. There can be quite a lot of micromanagement from selecting blocks to mine, like retreating at night, dealing with buildings, defenses, upgrades, enemies, workers, so on and so forth. But the more you play the game, the better you are going to get. And again, you have to expect to fail a lot of runs before making progress as this game is designed for you to go into mines over and over again, farming the minerals and stuff to make progress in the game. And that is my ultimate beginner guide, some tips and tricks to help you out within Drill Core. And what we are going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.